welcome to the channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Derek and I teach Python programming tutorials. In this one, I wanted to go all the way back to the fundamentals of Python and cover variables. We'll look at a few examples and how we can use them. Let's get started. Starting out, let's go ahead and pull up a terminal or a command prompt depending on your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I'll pull up my terminal. And now let's access our Python shell. To do that, we would type in Python. I have two different versions since I'm on a Mac, so I'll type in Python 3. Press return, and this will pull up the Python shell. If you haven't downloaded Python yet, I'll put a link for that in the description below. Once we activate this, we can see our version number up top, and we get a command line that we can do operations on. Let's do an operation now. So let's say something like 2 plus 9. Once we hit return, we get back the number 11. So we can do simple calculations like this in our Python shell. But let's say that this number was important to us for some reason, and we wanted to save it so we could use it later on. If we wanted to, we could use something in Python called a variable. A variable just allows us to reference an item later on in a script or in a Python shell. So here in our shell, let's say a is now equal to 2 plus 9. We don't get back the result. However, the value that is evaluated here is assigned to a. We do this assignment using the equal sign. Now if we wanted to reference the evaluation or this value's outcome, again, we could just type in a and hit return. Now we get back 11. So let's go up to our text editor and do this now. A variable can be any combination of letters and numbers, uppercase, however we cannot start with a number. So 9a would be an invalid variable name. However, there's some best practices whenever it comes to making a Python variable. We should use lower cases and underscores to separate words. So let's say variable a is equal to 9 plus 2. So remember, we're creating a variable called variable a, we're assigning it to a value by using an equal sign, and the value is the evaluation of whatever is on the right hand side. So we're setting variable a is equal to 11. You may have heard of object-oriented programming before, and that just means that we're using objects. Python is an object-oriented programming language, and the value of 11 is an object. So if you can think about a variable, it's just a name for an object in your memory. If that's too complex, it's okay to just think about it as variable a is equal to 11. But in reality, variable a is pointing to an object in your memory that is equal to 11. Python is also a dynamically typed language. And what that means is we don't have to assign a data type to our objects. Python will take care of that for us at runtime. So what does this mean? This means that every object or every value in your memory has to have some type of data type. This lets Python know how to treat that. So in this example, our object or our value of variable a is equal to 11. So since 11 is a whole number, in Python we call that an integer value. However, if we were to change this to a string value, so we can put in my name, this now becomes a string data type. The cool part about Python is whenever we create variables, we don't have to do this assignment, and Python will take care of it for us. We do have the power to override these assignments if we want to using casting, but we'll talk about that later on. Going back to our original example of 2 plus 9, what a variable allows us to do is to use this again later on in our Python script. So let's say this was an important number to us, and we wanted to create a second variable of variable b is equal to the variable we used above, variable a, times 2. We use variables in almost every Python script because we want to keep track of certain values in our script. To review, we're creating a variable here by assigning it to a value. Now, we're referencing this variable again here and assigning this using the equal to a new variable. Let's go ahead and save this script and open up a terminal or a command prompt and we'll execute the script. We see that we don't get anything back because we haven't printed anything to our terminal. So let's print variable b and get back the result. We'll execute again and we see that we get back 22. One last note is we can change variables once we create them. So if we were to go back up and say variable b and set this equal to a new value, so let's say 10 and save it 
we've effectively overrided this variable by reassigning it to a new value. So now when we print, we should get back 10 instead of 22, which is what we get. So in conclusion, we can create a variable where all the letters are lowercase and the words are separated by underscores and assign that to a value by using an equal sign. And the value that we assign it to can either be just a value or a function evaluation, which is what we have here. Then we can reference those variables later on in our Python script. And that's pretty much it for Python variables. I hope this gives you a brief understanding of how we can start using these. If you'd like to continue on and learn more fundamentals, feel free to continue on in this series playlist. I'll see you next time.